poppin'. It's your boy Midnight Mellow back up in the busy grrr. So we gonna get straight to the sauce. You here for hi hats? Before we get into it, I'm gonna lay out a general melody. Where we're gonna start off with the hi hats is very basic. So if you watch my trap drum pattern tutorial, I basically said you know the basic hi hat pattern. You go to the hi hat and you fill each two steps. We working at 130 BPM. You hold Control and click L to drag all the notes out and everything. So we're going over the step chops first. So we're gonna select one of these and we're gonna go to the wrench. We're gonna select chop. That's how I chop all my stuff and you'll find out why. We're going to select the folder and we're gonna go to step. So boom, you don't necessarily have to do that for that one as far as this first chop we're gonna do because this is what I call the triple bump. Boom. I'm gonna select the wrench again. We're going to go to chop or you could push alt U. I'm gonna do the second chop, third chop, which is gonna be a lot faster than that. And you basically move the time multiplier down that right there, just for the sake of the video. We'll go to the max, just so you can hear how it sound. And we'll put that pattern on loop. Let's go. We got the triple bump, we got the quad, and then we got the whatever you want to call that. And then, you know, the Swiss cheese, you know, basically shredded cheese right there. So I'm going to show you some things as far as how you can vary those up and things like that. So I can take off two or one and it'll give a different effect. And we could do that with this as well. Take off four to take away half of whatever that is, a step, a note, whatever. So let's get into it. So with these, you know, I like to call these like faders or whatever. So you basically select the pencil tool, press and hold at the top, the left mouse button. And then before you start dragging, you want to press and hold the right. And you'll see that little icon come up. You see how I switched? So we're going to drag it down and we're gonna push it down pretty low. Now let's listen to it as far as how that sounds. Woo, woo, yeah, so you get it. You can do that and you can pitch it up and stuff like that. Let's listen to it like that. You could even make it shorter and make the drop. All right, so you get the point. You could drag it down, whatever. So boom. Now what we're gonna go over is the six steps. So with this, it plays out a little different. It gives you a little bit of a different bounce. Let's go over the steps. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna go back to chop. We're gonna do this first, boom. Select the second one, the third one, which is pretty much as fast as you really wanna go with that. But we're gonna do something different with this. I'm going to delete this last note. I'm gonna select this one. We're gonna drag it out. We're gonna go to chop. But guess what we gonna do? We gonna move it over here. You see where that time is at? As far as the time multiplier? So boom, let's listen to that. So those are the six chops and those are used more frequently and I like to use them more frequently and especially in lower tempo beats and things like that, like 120, they sound real good and they give you a real unique bounce, especially if you're in your melody, you're only doing steps. And as far as the hi-hats, they're doing triplets. It's gonna sound really good. It's gonna have a good contrast. It's gonna give you a nice bounce. So the same things apply with this. You could erase those. You could take these. And with this, we'll just even do something like a So boom. So you get that. All right, now the other way to chop, 
you'll go to the upper left hand corner to the menu in the piano roll specifically of course you'll click snap and on snap click one six beat when you click one six beat it's going to allow you to lay everything out in triplets so if you go to the smallest setting and then just paint brush it out these are the chops you get so you get those if you move it out just one more boom you get that if you want a finer chop than the last two chops that we went over what you'll do is go to the menu in the upper left hand corner click snap again and then go to one third step on the lowest setting if you take one of these and move it to the lowest setting that'll give you the finest chop that it can give you on that setting in the triplet so we laid the hats out again now as far as this we're going to go over spaces selecting the spaces of where you're going to put these chops at so with that there are really two ways that you could go about this and both of them can be done off feeling but you could either create a bounce a repetitive rhythm or you can do it random so first we're going to do random i'm going to do this and we're going to do you know what do you call it all triplets so we're going to do that we're going to do this here we'll do another one and what you want to do because even though i'm doing this random you want to play it as you're doing it to see if it sounds right to you or if it sounds off so that sounds good there was no method to the madness on how i picked that again it was just random So boom, you hear, I just, I just filled it out and I did whatever I felt fit at the time. But the thing about this, it's not really, you know, repetitive or anything like that. It's just pretty much random and just doing what feels right. So you have that way and just really going about it in a random way, or you could still just create a bounce a rhythm. Now I'm going to show you how to make a rhythmic pattern, more of a repetitive pattern. I should say so when I say repetitive I mean you have one bar and as far as the first half of the bar and the second half of the bar they're very similar and the chops are in the same places oh, he needs some milk. places or similar places as far as the rhythm I'm creating the bounce if you look at this it goes these two right here this right here this right here so Now, if I do the same thing or similar things in the same spots, it's gonna create a bounce. Now, the thing about that is, it's not nothing crazy. It's, it's very simple, but again, being that it's repetitive, it's going to have a bounce to it. You're going to have a bounce before you put a snare or a kick or anything over it. It really carries the rhythm. So. So, boom, you have that. OK, now another thing that you can do is pauses. And a lot of people do that with simpler hi-hat patterns. What I don't want to do is take away anything 
on the first beat, you know, of each four beats in a bar. We'll even just dip that. So you can hear the difference. Just adding a pause can create an actual bounce. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna control B. And that duplicates everything from the previous pattern. So it gives it a nice bounce. Now the last thing I'm gonna show you is a couple of tricks and things like that that a lot of people use, of course. So the first is gonna be different pitch changes and pitch drags and things like that. Now you see how I did this one, so you see it already, but let's do it with this as well. You know, it's probably gonna sound ridiculous. I'm gonna do two there. And you could also, so you see the pitch drag as far as the pitch going down or even the pitch going up. You could put some notes, half a note or a whole note higher and stuff like that. You can also pan the notes, click control, go to pan and So that'll keep your hi-hats from being boring. They just hitting you in each ear and everything, hitting the listener. Another thing that you can do is lower notes and things like that. You see how I did that with the velocity as well. So it's a lot of things you can do to make the hi-hats interesting. And that's how come again, I feel like they're one of, if not the most important part of drums when it comes to trap drums. One of the last things that I wanna go over is tempo. So as far as this tempo, this is 130. This, all of this craziness that I did, works for 130 it'll work well let's go to 160 let's go to 166 sounds ridiculous right when you get to higher tempos and things like that more up tempo you can use chops but the chops probably are going to be less frequent and it's going to be more minimalistic so let's just delete all of that And that's the thing, when you get to that type of tempo, when you get to a 160 and up, the triple bump and just, you know, just steps and things like that, those go a lot further. We'll go back down to 130. So to me, that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna put some drums over it and That'll pretty much wrap this up just to let you know how it works. And if you haven't seen my drum patterns tutorial, go and check that out because it shows you the hot spots as far as kicks and everything else. So I'm just gonna lay everything down in the hot spots and we have a beat just like that. So one second. And see, it, it just, it really be that simple, bro. It's simple, it's simple, it's simple. So I gave you the sauce. Hope you didn't get lost in the sauce. Everything should be Gucci from there. I'm gonna have more tutorials coming soon. Let me know what you wanna see as far as any cookups, tutorials, topics, as far as anything you want me to talk about. So I got the kit out now, the heart and the piano. So that's a sample pack and it's got 
all types of beautiful piano melodies it's great check that out but outside of that you know we out stay safe midnight mellow yeah